ஹலோ ஜெனரேட்டர் ஷேரிங் ஆன் தைலண்ட் லோட்ஸ் இன் அ பவர் சப்ளை சிஸ்டம் திஸ் வீடியோ இஸ் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ஃபார் எஸ்டிமேட்டிங் தி ஷேர் ஆஃப் ஈச் ஜெனரேட்டர் ஆன் தி தைலண்ட் லோட் ஆஃப் அ பவர் சப்ளை சிஸ்டம் தி இனோவேட்டட் பவர் டிவிஷன் தீரம் கிவ்ஸ் எ வே டு பெர்ஃபார்ம் தி கால்குலேஷன் கன்சிடர் தி ஜென்ரல் பவர் சப்ளை சிஸ்டம் shown in the display there are three generators connected to three step up transformers at the generating stations all the transformers t1 t2 t3 at the generating stations are having the same ratio k1 with different kva ratings k2 k3 for transformer t4 and t5 transformer complex power efficiency is defined as the ratio of complex power output to the complex power input that is ratio of v2 conjugate multiplied by i2 divided by v1 conjugate multiplied with i1 where v1 i1 primary voltage and current V2, I2, secondary voltage and the current. CE1, CE2, CE3, CE4, CE5. Efficiency of T1, T2, T3, T4 and T5 transformers. The output complex power of the transformers ST1, ST2, ST3, SP and SR can be calculated as as shown in the display the current balance also given at the transmission level as shown in the display complex power balance in the transmission level also shown in the display sharing of generator 1 g1 g2 g3 on sl1 sb so by power division theorem at the transmission level are calculated the table is displayed share of generator 1 to the very large consumer is calculated using power division theorem as sl1 multiplied with the first transformer current it1 divided by the total current ic complex power sb to the transformer t4 is calculated as sb multiplied with it1 divided by ic the complex power so to the other grids is calculated as so multiplied with it1 divided by ic in all the three equations it1 is replaced with k1 star ig1 again the ig1 can be replaced by sg1 divided by v1 conjugate as shown in the display now the contribution of generator g1 to very large consumer and complex power to the transformer t4 and the complex power to the other grids are calculated similarly for the generator 2 to the very large consumer and to the transformer t4 and to the 
other grids can be calculated as shown in the display. Similarly, for the generator 3 to all the 3 outputs that is SL1, SB and SO. Share of generators G1, G2, G3 on the complex power SB input to the transformer 4 is shown in the display. The complex power output of the transformer T4 SP is equal to complex power efficiency CE4 multiplied with the input complex power SB as shown in the display. Now share of the generators G1, G2, G3 on the complex power SP is calculated and shown in the display by adding all the sharing of the generators SP can be determined as shown in the display. The power balance is also shown as SP equal to SL2 plus SL3 plus SS plus BL where BL is the transmission loss. Share of SP on SL2 that is very large consumer is equal to SL2 multiplied with current IP divided by IP as shown in the display which is equal to SL2. SL2 is equal to SP minus SL3 minus SS minus BL equal to CE4 multiplied with SB minus SL3 minus SS minus BL as shown in the display. Similarly, the share of SP on SS that is the complex power to the transformer T5 is calculated as shown in the display. From all the three equations, the share of generators G1, G2, G3 on the complex power to the transformer 5 SS is the same as the complex power of SP as shown in the display. Also, the share of all the generators on SL2 and SL3 of very large consumers are the same as shown in the display. SR is the complex power output of the generator T5 is equal to the complex power efficiency CE5 multiplied with the complex power input of the transformer SS as shown in the display. Now, share of G1, G2, G3 on SR can be calculated by multiplying the complex power efficiency CE5 with the share of G1, G2, G3 on the complex power SS input to the transformer T5 as shown in the display, which is also the same for the share of G1, G2, G3 on SM1 complex power to the medium consumer. Further, share of G1, G2, G3 on the power to the medium consumer SM2 and other outgoing power lines is the same. The secondary distribution is carried out by using distribution transformers as shown in the diagram. Input power to the distribution transformers are from primary distribution network as shown in the diagram. Three transformers are shown D1, D2, D3 having complex power efficiency as CD1, CD2 and CD3. 
the complex power output of the transformer sd1 sd2 sd3 is expressed in terms of complex power efficiency cd1 cd2 cd3 multiplied with their respective inputs sy1 sy2 and sy3 as shown in the display the share of g1 g2 g3 on all the outgoing power lines from primary distribution network is shown in the display the shares are the same as on sr the input to the power distribution network the the share of generators g1 g2 g3 on the loads connected to the distribution transformers depends on the complex power efficiency of each transformer as an example for the transformer d1 the share of g1 g2 g3 on the loads sx1 sx2 sx3 sx4 are shown in the display the conclusive remarks power division theorem gives a way to estimate the share of each generated on tailen loads that is in the secondary distribution now the result shows all the share are depending on the transformer complex power efficiency in the primary distribution and the secondary distribution also engineers researchers must apply this innovated method in real time to achieve better operation and control of power supply system also engineering and science universities must include the method in the curriculum thank you